As far as wheat acres in Ohio, uh, our soft red winter wheat this past year, uh, planted acres are around 570,000, which is up. We've been in that 500,000 acre area for at least two years, and it was actually less than that three years ago. And uh, we, uh, we hope to continue to grow those acres. It, it was a good wheat year, growing conditions and price, because what a farmer gets for uh, their soft red winter wheat in Ohio is often dictated by what the futures tell us they can sell that wheat for. So it's been a good year. Prices are up, uh, and uh, we hope to get more wheat in the ground. We're hoping for 600,000 acres planted uh, this fall. Uh, but we'll see what happens. It's been a good year so far, and we hope that continues. We need to plant wheat in Ohio. We're exporting it, and our millers need it. Uh, assets of wheat. Uh, wheat uh, in a crop rotation, is, it's simply good for soil tilth. It's good for soil health. It's also a wonderful cover crop, because when you've got a rooted crop on a field, through the winter, through the snow melt, through the rains. Uh, it keeps the soil on the field, which keeps it's, it means it's keeping everything else on the field. Uh, and uh, if you harvest it soon enough, which we do in Ohio, all over Ohio now, uh, there's always a possibility coming back and planting a second crop. Uh, and soybeans is that second crop in Ohio. So it's good for soil health, it's good for erosion control, and it's good for uh, adding income to the farmer's bottom line. We have, uh, like I mentioned before, we have a robust milling industry in Ohio. I'm not sure where we stand today statistically, but when I took this job in 2012, we were third behind Minnesota and California in milling capacity. But farmers in Ohio have delivery points to uh, Manel Milling, Star of the West, in Mondelez in Ohio, and uh, those particular businesses sell flour all over the region. Uh, Ohio is, they say, a one-day truck drive from 40% of the U.S. Po population. So all the East Coast cities, all the Northeast Coast cities, uh, they're using Ohio flour. Now there are, there's milling operations in other Eastern states, but not to the capacity Ohio has. I'm very honored to serve Ohio Corn and Wheat and the three boards that are under our umbrella. Uh, the Ohio Corn and Wheat Grower Association is our policy board. That's the group who works with staff to, uh, for all the policy and legislative interests that we're engaged in in Columbus and in Washington, D.C. I also serve boards for the Ohio Corn Checkoff and for the Ohio Small Grains Checkoff. There, those two checkoffs, first of all, nothing in those checkoffs goes towards legislative or policy efforts. Those two boards are totally vested in research, promotion, education, and market development. As a part of the small grains checkoff, we, uh, we do support uh, Dr. Clay Sneller's efforts in, the, uh, in breeding of, uh, of wheat. He is, he's our wheat breeder in Ohio, so he's always looking for those uh, those methods and those crosses that create better uh, strains of wheat. And he also uh, is vested in research with the private companies as well. And with Dr. Pierce Paul in the areas of uh, plant pathology, uh, not so much in virology, but uh, Ohio State has virologists. And uh, Dr. Paul, among other things, is helping us work through the fungus issues we, uh, we face in wheat and corn. Uh, particularly vomitoxin. The future of wheat in Ohio, I hope, is, uh, I hope it's very positive. We, we believe it is because of, uh, because of our milling industry and our exports go up every year. This past year, this past, uh, this past fall, I sent samples to labs uh, that, that serve Mexican millers and processors and we continue to set, and we continue to send rail car units out of Toledo to Mexico, who's by far our, our top soft red winter wheat buyer. And that uh, sending 
when we send rail car units to uh, Mexico and we begin to send more and more, that means we've created demand for uh, the soft red winter wheat our Ohio farmers grow and hopefully that motivates us all to plant more wheat and take take advantage of the assets put wheat in the ground up. Part of uh, Dr.